All right. Uh, so today I got the timer belt on. Um, I, I didn't. I, I opted not to use any of the uh, authentic VW tools. Instead, for the cam lock, uh, the cam lock for the diesel pump, I use a 1564. 1564 uh, drill bit stuck that in on this side uh, uh, don't I don't suggest you stick it in on this side or you, or you're gonna wind up tearing up something uh, I've seen a lot of people say they use the drill bit nobody ever tells you what size they use so 1564 is the size um, and, and I'm gonna move around real quick coming down here uh, here's the cam a quick little suggestion with the with your main crank sprocket this uh, the sprocket, I don't know if you can see it or not, but the sprocket has three little dots. There's one, two, three. There you go. I'll show you again. There's one, two, and three. And this top one, the leftmost one, should line up with a little divot. There's a little uh, a casting piece behind it. That should line up and you would be approximately at top dead center. Uh, now, once again, that is an estimate and an approximate. You, you want to pull the plug on your on your transmission to see your flywheel to make sure you're top dead center before you before you get going. But uh, you know, I'm gonna move around again here. The uh, the end of your cam. I suggest that you take off this um, this cam holder here at the end. Okay. And once you take that off, I'm going to go ahead and do this for you here. Once you take that off, i a nice little spot to put my nuts. Here we go. Okay. And the, the, the lubricant I opt to use is always synthetic bearing grease. I, I use that because it doesn't break down quickly, but also because, because it provides a stable lubrication even after the presence of... Uh, motor oil and if you're using synthetic motor oil they, they bond very well now at the end here you say well why did I remove that that cam in I did that you, when you're doing your timing you're gonna want to take off your your valve cover of course but at the end of the cam gear you see there's a flat um, intersection point what I use was uh, you know a piece of metal and a uh, <laughs> that's right and a sawzall blade came up to the right height and a magnet now the magnet is important because it holds the whole assembly together and you put that right across nice and flat you don't need any special tools for that that holds the um, the cam rock solid at top dead center uh, and the only other tool I needed was the one for locking the tensioner and uh, of course with a drill and a pencil and because you're putting on a new tensioner you can you know before you put it on there you go ahead and stencil out the holes on the new tensioner take a piece of metal whatever kind of metal you have this is a uh, this is the tightener <laughs> that's the tightener for a um, I think a grinder I didn't want to destroy the grinder. Uh, I, di I didn't know if I needed this tool anymore. So what I did was I just uh, stenciled out the holes on it, drilled them out, and used two. Uh, these are readily available screws for computers. Um, I think I drilled them out to one fourth of an inch. Uh, I, of course, I came up because you want to make sure that you, you're dead on center. And this worked beautifully. Uh, didn't cost me 18 bucks or 19 bucks or 64 bucks, whatever those crazy tools cost. Um, of course, it, it's still, you know, there's a lot, lot to go before I get the saw back together. And uh, any other suggestions? Uh, the last suggestion is just make sure you're not doing it when it's, when it's freaking snowing outside. <laughs> in, in your freaking driveway. Well, you know, I, I wish you all luck. And if this befalls you, you can do it yourself. It just takes a little time. I'm, I'm on, I think I'm coming up on a week now, a week down. That's waiting for parts to come in on UPS and you know trying to figure this whole thing out to make sure that I don't screw things up to make them worse um, the timer belt did break I did have to replace valves I did have to redo some of the head work um, I opted to go ahead and clean the VNTs on the turbo while I had it open so that was another deal I actually broke the turbo 
and uh, there's a, a wonderful guy in in Ohio uh, I think it's XS boost or something like that he, he sells the cartridge uh, it's not a Chinese cartridge he's a local manufacturer uh, I think he's, he actually sells them on eBay uh, right now I think the cartridge uh, for the uh, was it 1749 is a uh, GT 1749V that's um, that's the TDI Turbo uh, this is an 03 uh, I think he sells it for roughly 360 that's the whole kit with bolts and everything uh, all you need is your outer horn and you need your VNTs from inside so since you have it open already you can go ahead and clean it it doesn't come with an actuator it doesn't come with uh, the outer horn the um, the flute for the the intake side all right, you guys got any questions? I'm damn near expert now. <laughs> There's always more to learn about Volkswagens. Love to drive them, and, and they're not too bad to work on. You just gotta, you gotta be ready. And don't work in the freaking cold, <laughs> out in the snow when it's it's 12 degrees. Take care. Bye bye.